was a quiet summer evening in the suburbs of Chicago until some residents noticed that the aroma of grilling burgers and brats was not the only thing wafting through the night sky. We were at a black party, my sons and I, and my own son Justin said, look, there's a UFO. And I turned around and I'm like, what in the world are these things? I've never seen anything like this before. Never. Thomas T.J. Japkin grabbed his camera and began filming the strange objects. I believe it was around 10.30. People were starting to see a configuration of three illuminations in the sky in a pattern of a isosceles triangle or some variation thereof. I got it! I got it on tape! And as I was shooting, this thing just started rotating into a triangle right above the house. We didn't know if these were three separate crafts, if they were tied into each other. The block party went from barbecuing and horseshoes to debating a possible UFO sighting. What is it? Uh, we just started thinking, is it helicopter? No, it didn't make any sound. Uh, is it flares? No, there's no smoke involved with this. And plus, flares just give off one color. TJ decided to head straight for the experts and contacted UFO investigator Sam Moranto. When I seen the footage, I knew what we may very well be dealing with is something genuine. Yeah, you know, there's, there's a white light in there somewhere. TJ and his block party companions weren't the only ones to report strange things amiss in the night skies over suburban Chicago. What's nice about a mass sighting is you cut across the demographic of a community. We have doctors, lawyers, aviation personnel, we have ex-military personnel, people in almost every cut of life imaginable, and all of them agreeing that what they saw that night was something they can't put their finger on. They're back again. But the Tinley Park Triangle was not through mystifying the populace. I was fortunate to film a commercial airliner cutting in front of it. Look at that. Those airplanes with them. And that's why this is very good footage. We actually have a plane in the air, and we could see that these illuminations, these fields of, of light, are as big or possibly three times larger or more than the actual jet. That's pretty conclusive. That's them, right? Yeah, that's them. However, not everyone agrees that the Tinley Parkers were graced by an intergalactic visitor. It's a huge leap of faith to assume that there's anything extraterrestrial about a couple of lights that somebody sees in the sky. They look like these just little, what I think are probably illuminated flares. Michael Shermer, publisher of Skeptic magazine, has looked into this case and is, well skeptical. Three of them in one of the videos sort of looks triangular shape, but don't forget the brain is going to make a triangle out of a three three lights, exactly like we do when we see patterns of stars in the sky. We simply connect the dots. The notion of the uh, flares and balloons. First of all, these things stop perfectly still. They move in ratio with each other. They don't violate that ever. Now, I don't have to make any explanation to where it came from, but I could say this much, it's damn weird. I would say this probably leans more towards the impossible extraterrestrial. The experts can argue until they are as green as those little men whose existence they debate. As for TJ, he knows what he saw. We don't know who made it, but I don't think we made it as far as man goes. Um, as far as alien goes, I don't know. I'm just a witness that saw it, and all I know is I saw what I saw.